Welcome. Yes. Week five. Hey. I got the Dodger game on. I got my picks ready. Oh, my. Last week, week four was... That was that was messed up, man. My mind was thinking one way. The games went the other way. Oh, it was like... My first night when I was in Thailand, I go to a bar, meet a be, meet a beautiful girl, dance, make out, find out that uh, it's not a girl, finish the dance and left, went home, suffered a bad beat, but no, but know what you do after a bad beat? You just shake yourself off, hey, ho oh, ho, you know, be like. Be like Manny Ramirez. Boom. Jack and Wheat. That was week five picks. Just jacked. All right, let's get into the picks. Minnesota, minus nine and a half at St. Louis. You know what, man? Miami's Minnesota. I mean, they're for real. Brett Favre makes that team that much better than they were last year. They're, they're just that good. They're Brett Favre and the Vikings. And they have a running game, sick D. Give it the points. The Rams, they're, they haven't shown nothing. Zero Vikings here. Dallas minus, Dallas plus eight and a half at KC. You know what, I bet heavy on Dallas last week. I thought, but no, Tony Ro Romo, too many interceptions. He's never consistent. Eight and a half at Arrowhead. They paid Matt Castle a bunch of money because um, he, he's a good quarterback. Watch here for KC to cover this 8.5. 3-2 Dodgers. Top of four. Got money on the Dodgers. <laughs> All right. Washington at Carolina. Wash, uh, Carolina plus... Three and a half. Uh, know what here? Jake, Jake the Snake is just going to grab Washington and just DDT Washington to the ground. Carolina here. Carolina, they won, they won the division last year that they're not as bad as they are. And Washington is as bad as they are. Carolina here. First win in a big way. Tampa Bay plus 15 at Philadelphia. Well, Tampa Bay, you might score what? 14 points, maybe 20 points against the Philly D, but you're giving up at least 38. So do the math. Philadelphia blows them out. They cover here. Oakland at Giants. Like I said, I... Last week I went with the uh, with that fat pig quarterback who eats the cheeseburgers, and no, they're and the Houston Mary Williams they demolish them. They're brutal. They're not getting any, any points. Either if Eli Manning is not playing, they're going to cover that. Cleveland at Buffalo. Oh, here's my. Uh, I've had a couple. Of, Cups of wine pick. But I'm going with Cleveland here to cover the six and maybe even upset. Mangini, they got to win a game here. Close last week. Buffalo, you never know about Buffalo. You know, they're iffy. So uh, let's go. I'm taking Cleveland here. And that's, uh, yeah, I'm going to move on. Since he had Baltimore. Since he's getting eight and a half. Oh, man, like, oh. Like, is Cincy a pretty girl wearing ugly clothes? Or an ugly girl wearing nice clothes? So, I'm hoping they're a hot chick in dirty clothes. So, I'm, I'm taking Cincy, Cincinnati here and the eight and a half. Just, you know, just to see what they're like. 
are Cincy for re real. Eight and a half is a lot of points. Pittsburgh at Detroit, another one. Pittsburgh here, I know they gave up huge points out of San Diego because I needed San Diego to cover 12 points, and they did. Thank you. Bling, bling. Bling, bling. One, two, I won 225 last week still. But, back on track, Pittsburgh's pissed off because they gave up all that, all that um, scores to San Diego. So I'm going with Pittsburgh here to cover the 10, to, uh, to cover the 10 and a half. All right. Atlanta at San Fran. This one's two and a half. Atlanta's the underdog. This is a tough game. Uh, I'm not going to bet on this game what's whatsoever. But uh, if I was going to pick here, I would go with Atlanta. Because uh, the only reason why is I like, uh, I like Matt Ryan and Tony Gonzalez. Having my fantasy pool. So, that's why. Houston at Arizona. Houston, my, plus five and a half. Hey, Mario Williams. This game's going to be a back and forth, shootout, crazy guns, sh Matt Schwab. He's going to battle Kurt Warner, the defenses. Five, uh, for five and a half points, I'm taking Houston on this one. Here we go, New England at Denver. New England is plus three and a half, three, is plus three points. You know what? Take New England. That's my um. That's my I'll bet a case of wine on New England this week. D Denver, you know they've looked, you know like their D's been looking good, but they've they've been playing crappy teams. Like Oakland, that like Dallas, you let them march down. You made you let them march down the field. What is Tom Brady going to do to you guys? New England here is back. Take it to the bank. Bet everything you have. You know what? This is what I'm betting. I will bet with this dog one more time. A 15 second makeout sesh if New England doesn't win this game. And Iggy is pumped. Let's move on. Jacksonville. Plus three at Seattle. I like Seattle here as the home underdog. I don't know what, what the Hasselback situation is, but Wallace, he's he's coming in. He's going to be rolling. It's the home to Seattle. I don't like to travel from Florida to Seattle. I just like C Seattle here. So, I'm taking Seattle. India, Tennessee. Indy plus three and a half. Again, I've been... Betting on Tennessee every week, they disappointed me. You know, it's like hitting on the same girl every week. You know, she's not gonna, she's not gonna go home with you. So, no, you say to her, "Fuck you." I'm picking Indy to march all over Tennessee here. Well, they're gonna win and cover. And that's Senator. What about the Monday Nighter? The Jets at my, the Jets at Miami. Jets are plus one and a half. No, at Sanchez, boom, they're gonna, they're gonna take care of this wildcat, whatever they call it there with their Chusey or Chasey, whoever the quarterback is now. Jets here, their D mops them up. Sanchez, another lock of the week. If you lose all your money on Sunday, which you won't, because you'll follow my bets. But if some way, for some crazy reason you don't, put everything you have on the Jets. To beat Miami. Those are my picks. Uh, I'll see you back for week six. And hopefully I don't have to make out with that dog. Well. Yeah. See you back for week six. Yeah.